We are talking Mako. This is a 2021 shark attack movie from Egypt, directed by Mohammed Hersham El Rashidi. Now, this is spoken in Arabic, though there's a few lines that are English language, and is obviously based on Mako sharks rather than Mako the actor. So there have been a few Mako shark movies before. Probably most notable is Deep Blue Sea, I believe, where many be Makos, and there's also uh, Mako Jewels of Death from some years ago. So here we are, an Egyptian movie about this kind of sunken ship uh, that kind of had sunk some years ago and a group of documentary filmmakers want to go and explore the um, the site. Now there's, there's been reports of a kind of negative energy that seems to be emanating from this, uh, this wreck and uh, this kind of uh, group of documentary filmmakers led by this woman who was recently humiliated at a, an award show want to go and check it out. Now, when they go there, there's of course, as you'd probably expect with the title, a large Mako shark patrolling the area. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let us discuss Mako and what works, first of all, in this movie. I think there is, uh, obviously, if you've ever been to Egypt, and I haven't, but I understand it, it's very good for diving. So it makes sense you'd have this kind of, um, you know, this, this a good setting for a kind of, kind of a shark movie. And there is a lot of nice underwater photography here. Now, they, they do use some kind of like green screen um, and kind of model work by the looks of it, but there's, there's also a lot of real life uh, underwater kind of like photography. And I've got to say, it's, it's done really well. And there's also some nice direction within these kind of sequences, kind of really kind of uh, uh, giving you this kind of, you know, you, you don't know up from down and things like this, this kind of confused, uh, upside down world within this kind of wreck of this ship. It, look, it looks quite creepy. And I gotta say, I think the underwater sequences are actually shot effectively and, and do look menacing and creepy and eerie. And the way the shark is used, you don't see a hell of a lot of the shark to be honest with you, but it's kind of there as this ever present force kind of swimming around this kind of wreck and obviously uh, uh, giving our divers kind of some grief. Um, we do have a, a reasonable amount of kind of shark sex. They are kind of mostly in the, uh, the kind of the latter stages of the movie, to be honest with you. But there is some. I mean, they're kind of CGI, but they, 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 nonetheless, there are some reasonably kind of uh, effective shark attack sequences. And re in regards to the actual CGI, I will say I think the um, the CGI isn't bad. Uh, I think the, the animation is a little lacking, but the actual CGI shark itself. I mean, it looks a little bit more kind of monstrous than a real Mako kind of shark, but I actually gotta say, I think maybe the shark actual design itself is of a better quality than certainly the likes of a lot of these kind of Chinese uh, shark movies that we've kind of reviewed here in kind of recent years. So the, the shark movie, and even some of like lower budget American ones as well, the shark, shark CGI, uh, not so bad. There's also a lot of other plot elements in this movie, which I guess is a good and a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. But there's certainly um, lots of kind of interpersonal kind of relationships that play a part in this movie. We have people kind of with uh, um, motivations that are not immediately apparent. Some trying to kind of like get an, get, get, get an angle on someone else, some being more altruistic than others. So there is a lot of interpersonal drama in the movie as well. So if you like a bit more of a melodramatic kind of movie then maybe this one will be for you but on that subject let's now transition to what doesn't work in my opinion i think there's too much melodrama in this movie the first act of this movie uh is really about this kind of squabble between our two main characters who is this uh, uh husband and wife duo who lead this kind of documentary film troupe and we have this really long extended sequence where there's a kind of this award show where the wife is presented with an award but it turns out the award was actually for the husband and she has this kind of humiliating trip off the stage and it's like did we really need all of this i mean we could have just sort of kind of established that they're married but they're having trouble the whole first act of the movie is devoted to this 
and it just seems like unnecessarily long melodramatic sequences with these two kind of at odds and then they make it up at the end of the first act so it almost seems irrelevant uh it's weird it's a weird kind of like uh decision to have in this movie um because so much time is spent to it and then it's ultimately kind of resolved before we even step foot in the water uh so yeah a little bit of an odd one but even outside of that we have lots of different, different uh, personal relationships, people being surreptitious behind uh, each other's backs, you know, the ulterior motives and things like this, trying to cover their tracks. There's a lot of it going on, and I think a little bit too much, to be honest, because every every character really will have some type of character turn in the movie, be it positive or negative. And to me, it just put a little bit kind of too much time on the actual uh, on on these kind of like melodramatic sequences themselves. I've got to say as well, the actual story in itself, there's some elements here that didn't make a lot of sense. I don't think we're particularly kind of well handled. Um, the sequences, for example, that involve like hallucinations. And we've kind of seen a, a, little, a little bit like this with uh, 47 meters down. Um, and, and having done that review and having a lot of comments on that particular movie with people not understanding that people were kind of hallucinating at certain sequences this one i don't think handles it even as well as 47 meters down and i think would be a little confused uh, about what's actually kind of going on and what the movie's actually kind of trying to say um and more a kind of a, a just a housekeeping element when we have our kind of uh, underwater sequences it's extremely hard to uh, determine which characters are which because they're all kind of wearing very kind of similar dive suits the kind of like the full hell the full like helmets so they can speak but it's, it's, it's actually quite difficult to determine who's who um i think it would have been better to maybe to have different colored diving suits i don't know how um you know th that might just seem like an arbitrary choice maybe look like the power rangers but i think it might have benefited from really kind of differentiating between uh the kind of the different kind of divers here it's sometimes very hard to see um, what's actually or who you're actually kind of looking at to be honest with you until you get like a, a real close-up shot of um, their face and even then it's sometimes a little hard because their kind of faces are kind of pulled back by the mask and things like this so it's a little bit hard to see what's kind of going on uh, the shark attack side of stuff the movie isn't really about that if I'm honest with you it's more about the kind of the dangers of kind of going in this deep sea diving sort of uh, expedition and kind of the things that can kind of go wrong that include sharks but isn't uh, all about sharks. I mean we have people die from different methods uh, as well as just a shark attack so it's kind of like sharks are only kind of part of this but I feel the movie's kind of positioning itself about to be a kind of a killer shark movie and really the shark isn't in the movie all that much to be honest with you. And although I like the kind of the uh, the actual graphic rendering of the shark. I think some of the animation is a little lacking. Overall, I still think this is a somewhat watchable kind of shark movie. Um, you know, it's obviously nice to see kind of shark and movies in general coming out of kind of different kind of regions of the world. And there is some uh, some ideas here that I did enjoy. And certainly some of the under underwater photography, I think, is uh, to be commended. But overall, I think it's just a little bit of a discombobulated movie in its kind of narrative sense to me. So I want to give this one a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.